Hey guys, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, just want to give you guys a quick update of what's going on. Uh, this weekend's actually going to be very, very busy, which is good. Um, I have the uh, electricians coming in. Uh, he's got the box that came in. We're going to get everything wired up, completely done, so that he said basically your electrical stuff will be all squared away this weekend. So that's awesome there. Um, I have the delivery of the insulation is coming on Friday, which is tomorrow, because today's Thursday. And so once the insulation's here, then I can start insulating all the inside here and getting the vapor barrier up and, uh, and getting that part of it done. Um, the wood stove, I, I had a guy that I talked to. I have to text him again and see if he's coming today or not. Um, I don't know, maybe he's going to come this weekend. I don't know, we'll have to see what happens. But uh, but then my uh, electrician guy, he says he knows somebody else. So, um, you know, we're going to kind of cross those bridges as we get there. But, uh, you know, things are moving along. Um, we should be, by the end of this weekend, I'm hoping that the electrical will be done, the insulation will be well on its way. And that uh, you know, um, you know, possibly the wood stove is going to get in as well. I don't know yet. That's you know, that's kind of not 100% sure yet. Now I want to address a couple things. Um, there were some comments from individuals, and it, you know what? It's like, you know, you want to be negative, and, it, and it's funny because it's like they like you know, this one individual, which doesn't make any difference who it is, but. Uh, you know, that I, I need the attaboys. And I don't need the attaboys. I, I am completely focused on what's important. And what's important is my kids. And I've said that a million times. And because I bought a motorcycle doesn't mean I'm impor my kids are important to me. You know what? Think whatever you want. I really don't care. I really don't. Because, you know, things are going to be squared away. This building is going to be ready. Um, you know, we're going to be able to get in here. I'll probably end up framing walls and everything when we're in here. I mean, those are all things that can be taken care of inside when it's cold. I don't care about that. What I care about is being able to be warm, to have the power in here, and then we'll focus on the other stuff as we go. You know, it's um, you know people can think whatever they want. It's your opinion. That's fine. Um, if you want to judge me for the fact that the way that I went about getting to where I'm at now, that's your right. You can you can think whatever you want. And guess what? I don't care. You don't pay my bills. You know, if I want the motorcycle, I'm going to buy the motorcycle. You're not paying for it. I am. I work. So, you know what? My thing was, for me, the reason that I got the motorcycle, I've wanted a new bike for two years. And I kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And after beating cancer, I basically said, you know what? Life is short. I want to enjoy life. And so I bought the motorcycle. Now, are there other things that are probably more important? Absolutely. But you know what? Again, life is short and I want to enjoy myself. And you know, um, most of my focus is always going to be on my kids and making sure things are squared away for them. And you know what guys, you know, anybody that's going to be a naysayer or negative, that's your, you know, like I said, you can do that. That's fine. But you know what? My kids are happy and they're well adjusted and they're good kids. I mean, my son has his issues because of the autism, and I'm not going to deny that. But, you know, my daughter is a straight-A student, and she's doing great in the new school. She's making new friends, and she's happy. You know, um, my son's happy being out here now. He's adjusted to being out here. And, it, and I knew he would. You know, it was just going to take time. And, uh, you know, school-wise, I don't know where that's all going to pan out. Like I said, I may do homeschooling with him. I may not. But, you know what? That's my business, you know, and yeah, I put my life out here. I'm sharing my life with you guys, and that's, you know, I enjoy it. I, I Honestly, I do, you know, and if somebody wants to be negative, they have the right to be negative, but guess what? I also have the right to delete your comment, and I will, because I'm not going to deal with it. I'm really just not going to deal with it, because, you know, um, and I'm not looking for yes men. That's not what I'm looking for. Um, I like the feedback if I do something wrong. I'm more than happy to deal with the feedback, um, you know, and I have changed things because you guys have said, hey, listen, you did that wrong and you need to change it. Now, do I change everything you say? No, I don't. 
I basically process everything you say, I take it into consideration, and I figure, okay, this is definitely something that I want to change, or this is not. You know, just like with the blocks. The blocks were wrong. I had to think about it for a minute, and I basically said, you know what, everybody's right. I need to change the blocks. So, you know, Kelly came across state and helped me, and we jacked the building up, and we changed all the blocks. And I'm going to tell you what, that sucked. It really, really did. But it was necessary, and I understand that, you know. Um, I don't mind constructive criticism, okay. If there's something that you think that I've done wrong or that, you know, um, with my building or what I'm doing, or if you have advice, if you think that, you know, maybe I should do this or maybe I should do that, bring it on. I love that. But to be critical and to think that I don't have my kids' interest at heart and, that, and that's more important than anything else, you're dead wrong. Or to, uh, you know, just, I just, to me, like I said, if you're going to be a negative person and have negative, you know, like I said, here, here's the bottom line. Bottom line, guys. If you don't like my channel, don't watch my channel. It's real simple. If you don't like what I'm doing, there's a million other channels out there to watch, okay? I'm not going to be like some of these guys and I'm not going to crash and burn. I'm telling you that right now. I'm going to be successful because mentally I'm strong. And, you know, if, uh, you know, somebody was saying, oh, well, you're hiring people to do this or you're hiring people to do that. Yeah, I am. If I want it done right and done the right way, you know what? I haven't worked with electrical stuff since I was in the military. I got out of the military in 86, okay? It's a long time ago. And I worked for a company in Rochester after I got out, and I didn't like it. I didn't want to do it. So I haven't worked with electrical in forever. Now, can I wire up a box and stuff like that? Absolutely, if I need to, okay? But to work in the junction box or the, or the panel, I don't have those skills anymore. I don't remember, okay? So I'm going to have somebody else do it. Now, let's address something else. My spelling, okay? I suck at spelling. Does that make me a stupid or an ignorant person? No. It just means I suck at spelling. It always has been. So if I spell something wrong, it doesn't mean I'm stupid or it doesn't mean that I'm ignorant. It just means that I suck at spelling. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? If you correct me, that's great. I'll correct the spelling in, in my title or whatever. I'm not perfect. I don't claim to be perfect. I don't claim to know everything or anything. You know, it, it's, I'm try, you know what? Moving off grid and doing this, this has been a dream. It's a learning experience for me. I don't claim to be an expert. Um, what I do claim is that if I need help, I'm not afraid to ask for it. I'm not afraid to say, hey, you know what? I need to have the electrician come in and wire this place up properly because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. And guess what? That's what I'm going to do. So, you know, if you're going to judge me because of that, I really don't care. So anyway, like I said, if you want to have negative comments, put them on there because guess what? I'm going to delete them. I'm not dealing with it. I'm just really not going to deal with it. You're not going to get the reply. Um, and, and this is not feeding into the negativity. I don't like to use the word trolls. I mean, that's just so stupid. It's just, you know what? Some people are just, here's, here's what it comes down to, in my opinion, okay? Some people are so miserable in their life that they can't stand it when somebody else is happy in doing something that makes them happy. I want to tell you what, guys, you know, beating cancer, um, and even when I had cancer, you know what, I didn't let that bring me down. I have a dream, I have a goal, I have things to accomplish. And yes, granted, you know, the kind of cancer that I had has a 98% cure rate, okay? It also has, you know, only 5% of people does the cancer metastasize, meaning it moves to someplace else in the body. Now, I have to go on Tuesday and have a chest scan done because they want to make sure that my cancer hasn't come back or moved into someplace else. And my doctor told me it's strictly precautionary, which is awesome, okay? I'm not concerned about it, you know, because, and, and here's the thing. Let's say it has moved and gone someplace else. Guess what? I'll deal with it. Because I plan on being alive. I plan on being around. These kids need me. I'm here for them. Now, let's address another issue that was brought up by this negative individual. Um, me saying negative things about my ex-wife and that I have basically sour grapes or I'm bitter against my ex-wife. I'm not bitter against my ex-wife. You know what I'm bitter about? I'm bitter about the fact that she's a lousy mother. 
that she blows her kids off and that I have to look at their faces when she calls up and says she's not taking them for the weekend, okay? You don't have to deal with that. I have to deal with that. So I have to deal with that negativity from that end, okay? And um, I don't have to say negative things about their mother. And be, oh yeah, it's on social media and they can come and they can watch. You know what? They already, they already know. They already know about their mother. When their mother calls up and is slurring her words because she's freaking on so many freaking pills that she can't even speak properly, they can tell the difference, guys, okay? So you know what? I try to have a decent relationship with my ex-wife. If she calls up and says to me, I'm not taking the kids this weekend, you know what I say to her? I go, okay, like this weekend. She has plans for the weekend. She's doing curling all weekend. That's more important than spending time with her kids. But you know what? I don't ever complain or say anything to her. I say, okay, because guess what? I'll have my kids seven days a week. I don't care, okay? So I have no sour grapes against her. I have no animosity. You know what? I, the, the, the animosity and the bitterness that I have, if you want to know the honest truth, is because she put no effort into our marriage. She would not help. She would not work to help us. So yeah, that I'm bitter about, I'll be honest with you. But you know what? The next woman that I end up being with, hopefully, is going to be somebody that works, that is bringing a contribution to my relationship and working as a team. The team is not me working all the time and somebody else sitting on their butt doing nothing, okay? That's not a team, all right? So, you know, you guys can think whatever you want. I really don't care, to be honest with you. I know that I'm doing the best for my kids that I possibly can, and I have to deal with all the backlash of her blowing her kids off and not taking her kids because she's too busy or she doesn't feel good. Well, guess what? When I don't feel good, it don't matter. I still have to have my kids because they're mine, okay? Someone has to be responsible. I always have been. I always will be. Now I'm ranting, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this video. Um, and, you know, listen, uh, this weekend's going to be crazy busy. Uh, I'll get a lot of video. I'll, I'll put it up so you guys can see what we're doing, what we're accomplishing. And um, I'm real happy about where we're heading in the right direction with getting things going here. Um, hopefully I will get this wood stove in here soon. And um, that it's going to be a happy day for me because once I get the wood stove in, I get the insulation delivered tomorrow, I can start banging out the insulation in here and get the vapor barrier up. And we're going to be in a lot better shape that we can get in the building here and sleep in the building if it's a cold night or a cold day. So that's it guys, you know, um, we're moving forward, we're making progress. Um, do I wish it was faster? Absolutely I wish it was faster. But it is what it is. I can't make them deliver the insulation any faster. If they had delivered it sooner, I would have it up. You know, and I'm not waiting on for somebody else to do the things for me. I'm doing a lot of it myself. I caulk the windows by myself. You know, I put the insulation up underneath by myself. I put whatever insulation is in here in by myself, you know. Um, if, I, if I can have a friend come and help me do something, yeah, I can't wait to have. I got a buddy of mine coming Saturday who's going to help me. I'm looking forward to that, you know. So it's, you know, you working towards a goal is one step at a time. And I've said that before, you know, it's one thing at a time, one day at a time. And it's going to get done. And I have all the confidence in the world that it's going to get done. Now, there's a lot more work to do after those steps are done. I have to skirt the building. Now, see, now I'm rambling. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Okay. So, anyway, listen, guys. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate the communication with you guys. And if I'm doing something wrong, I appreciate you guys telling me. I really, really do. But I'm not dealing with the negative stuff. I'm just going to let you know that. So, if you have a negative comment... Or if you want to say F you to me or whatever, I'm just going to delete that comment. I'm not dealing with it. You know what I mean? So if you are if you feel like you need to do that, knock yourself out. But it's going to get deleted. And um, somebody had asked me about doing a video about my bike and showing the bike more. And I will do that for you guys. Okay? Um, I love it. I actually went out for a ride today. So, and the other thing, real quick, I wanted to say, I overdid it when I did the stairs and digging into the hill and stuff like that. So I've taken a couple days to chill out, um, to try to let my body heal up a little bit more. And because um, I know what I got going on this weekend and I'm going to be busy this weekend. So I just took a few days to chill and, uh, and the weather's been decent. So that's what I did. Okay. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful day.
Dr. Nurse went off for now.